Good afternoon. It is currently two o'clock on the Wawa West Coast in Sugar's World. Welcome to another episode of Unsugarcoated. Today I'm going to be doing a full face of e.l.f. cosmetics. Now, my name may be Sugar, but that does not mean I'm going to be sugarcoating my opinion. So, grab a snack, grab a coffee, and let's get unsugarcoated. So I spent a total of $118 at Target for a full face of e.l.f. baby. I feel like everyone and their mom is talking about e.l.f. on TikTok and that makes me so happy because it reminds me of my middle school days. You know, that's all I could afford. And when I had really bad acne, I was running into the store and getting the e.l.f. products. So now it's nice that they're finally getting the recognition they deserve. So to start the skin prep, we're gonna go in with the Holy Hydration Night Cream. Yes, I'm gonna use this to prep because you know, you can do whatever you want. The world is your oyster with makeup and skincare. And I like to prep with a moisturizer before I even go in with a primer because I don't know, I feel like you can never be too hydrated. Also, this could just be a great everyday cream for me. Let's go in with her. Ooh, oh, it's very hydrating, very hydrating. <laughs> I'm not self tanned right now, so don't make fun of me and call me spice with the pale skin. Isn't that weird? Like, as a twin, like, if we look too much alike, then people are like, oh my god, you look like Spice, and they say it as a bad thing. It's like, yeah, we are twins. Like, we're supposed to look like, oh my god, I'm not supposed to be, I should be brushing up. You guys yell at me because I always put my skincare down, but it's kind of weird to go up. I guess, okay. It's just, it's habit, you know, we gotta get used to it. You get a big jar of this, so this might be a new staple. Now let's go in with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I've seen people literally stick things to their face with this on TikTok. That's how sticky it is, which is great for makeup prep because we want our foundations and all of our products to actually stick to our skin and not just come off. Ooh, ooh it's kind of seafoam green. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. Yeah, I can tell it's sticky. It's pretty thick. It always reminds me of the Nivea Shea Bomb when Nikki Tutorials got everyone obsessed with that in 2016. I used to be obsessed with beauty YouTube back in the day. Well, I still am, even though it's kind of taken a different turn. But in Sugar's World, we're bringing back old school YouTube and I have to be the pioneer to do it. I will. I mean, not to be shady, but you know, I do my research. I watch the other beauty girlies on here that are making videos now. And I'm bored to death. Like, these girls are just so perfect and just like, and then you put on the primer and then you do this makeup. And I'm like, where's the realness? Like, I just want someone to get on camera and just like feel like I'm on FaceTime. So that's why I do these style of videos. I was getting in my head like, oh my God, do I need to get like a big fancy camera and do the most? But to me, I feel like people overcompensate for a really nice setup and really good lighting when they don't really have much to offer personality wise. So. <laughs> That's my little shady sugar moment <laughs> and me just justifying why I don't need to get a big fancy camera. But I like this style and you know what? I need to stay true to me and I know it will pay off in the long run. So also I, it makes it feel way more personal just to connect with you. I'm just chill and laid back like this. So <laughs> I just feel like the makeup and beauty world is so saturated with these perfect people presenting these perfect lives. And you know, my makeup is always going to be perfect. So let me at least be a real person. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe it won't be perfect today. We'll see if Elf can come through. Before I go in with any makeup, since I am in fact a drag queen and not a normal civilian applying my light BB cream. So I'm gonna be doing this off camera. If you want an in-depth brow cover tutorial, definitely check out my last video, how to give yourself a facelift with makeup. I give y'all all my sugary sweet tips and tricks. I'll link it down below. So if you're struggling with gluing down your brows, then watch her and then come back here. First up to bat, we have the iconic e.l.f. Halo Glow liquid filter. Now I've seen everyone and their mom um, bus driver and grandma use this on TikTok. Now you can apply this under or over makeup just as a highlighter, mix it in with your foundation. I also have the Camo CC Cream. So I'm thinking I'm gonna apply this as a little glow underneath and then we'll put her on top. I feel like that's the right way to test it out, right? Ooh, okay, it's a little applicator. Oh, it's like a little doe foot. I can't say that. Let's just see, let's apply a little bit. And then we'll build up oh, these sounds. Okay. I'm in my glowy era. I feel like a lot of drag queens, ooh, we always go for the full coverage matte look. But I'm straying away from that. I want my skin to look like skin. 
I feel like I've been brainwashed into thinking I've had bad skin by watching all these makeup tutorials from drag queens and, you know, the 2016 makeup era. Everyone was just applying so much product. Let me start blending. And it's like, no, let's, let's show ourselves. I feel like drag makeup turns into a lot about hiding yourself because, you know, after all, we are turning ourselves into a new character. But I feel like the more as I've evolved as a person and developed sugar, I've come to realize that she's really just an extension of me. Sugar is my divine feminine, and Sugar's really able to come out when I play with makeup because that's me tapping into my inner child. No matter what your gender is or how you identify, we all have a divine masculine and a divine feminine in us. It's just a matter of what we allow to come out and show the world or how we feel, right? So it's like, girl, just apply the makeup. We don't need all of the spiritual BS. And yesterday I was in my head because I posted one of my clips from my last video where I was, you know, more spiritual and I ended up deleting it off YouTube because the comments were like, no girl, this is the wrong take. Of course, there's suffering in the world because I was talking about suffering is all in our mind. It's all self-inflicted. And they just weren't understanding my teachings, I guess. I'm really big into Bashar and Abraham Hicks. And it kind of taught me the lesson, okay, maybe people aren't ready for your type of spirituality yet. And that's okay. I'm hoping I can attract my spiritual girls to this channel. I know it is a beauty and makeup channel, but I feel like your inner being and who you are as a person and how you feel is a direct reflection of how you look on the outside. So I really think it goes hand in hand, but I realize I can't shove it down people's throats. When people are ready for the message, they will be. People in the comments were like, no, like I'm suffering, I'm broke, I'm this, I'm that. It's like, okay, well, if you want to attach to your suffering, if you want to identify with that, great, because that's what will be in your reality. You're just going to be suffering. So the faster you let go of the story of nothing's working out for me, I'm always unlucky, the faster you can let in the good things, the positive things. So in order to get there, you just have to think positive thoughts because positive breeds positive. <laughs> okay, let's get back to makeup. First impressions, I am loving this glow. It's everything. I understand why people would mix this with foundation. Now let's go in with the Camo CC Cream. This is color correcting, full coverage, natural finish. It also has SPF 30. I'm excited to try her. I think I'm just gonna put her on the face. I feel like this is against the rules, but in my world, <laughs> it's way easier. So let's just put a few dots and then we'll build. The color looks good. I will say, Miss Elf, you gotta have more shades because it wasn't really looking good for my darker skin girls. Maybe it was just my target and they were out of more of a diverse shade range, but I was like, mm, I don't know about that. So hopefully with everyone using these products, y'all will be able to get a bigger budget and get more shades because then more people can enjoy your products, you know? Oh, okay, this is full coverage. Beyond, it's giving me a little tan. I didn't put on any color corrector because I want to see if it will cover up the man in me, you know? Mmm, okay. So far, so Oh my god, this is really full coverage. I'm living for this. Okay, Elf. Okay. <laughs> it's so funny because this is my self-tan shade and I'm pale right now. So it's like, dang, I really, I really do shape shift into a new person with the skin tone change. <laughs> okay, this is insanity. Oh my god. This is full co this might replace my MAC tried and true because y'all know the MAC full coverage is my jam. She's my holy grail, but whoa. I am loving the combo of putting the halo glow underneath and then the CC cream on. My skin looks like butter. Oh my God, I'm obsessed and it blended out so easily. Yes, Elf, yes, Elf. Woo! <laughs> Someone asked me in my last video if I was on Shroom, so I'm like, no girl, I'm just really happy. <laughs> now for concealer, we're using the Hydrating Camo Concealer. I'm so excited to try her because in my last video, someone was like, oh girl, that's a dupe for the shape tape. So what I thought is I'm gonna do shape tape on this side. This will be like the, the common denominator. And then this is gonna be the variance, right? Science, I don't know, I'm butchering it. So we're gonna do a little compare and contrast. Okay, on this side, we're going in with the Hydrating Camo Concealer. Let's see what she's giving. I'm only gonna apply a little bit and then we'll build. On this side, we're doing my Holy Grail Tarte Shape Tape. I'm gonna apply the same amount, blending out the e.l.f. side. I feel like this is top model, but for concealers, it's like who will be on top? 
Okay, the shades are basically the same. I was worried that was gonna be an issue. Let's get up in that tear duct area. Oh, wow. This is looking pretty similar. This is gorgeous. Elf, you are killing it, okay? But we need to see how she wears. Let's blend out the tarp side. Okay. So the tarp does feel a little bit higher in coverage, but honestly, it's not that big of a difference. I also think this shade just might be a little bit lighter. Let's put some of the elf in between the brows to highlight the forehead. Okay, I am blown away by the elf. It honestly looks so similar to the Tarte. I feel like if I put on just a little bit more, it would match in coverage. So let's try that. Let's see how she builds. It's definitely hydrating, which I love because I hate a dry concealer. It's just like, no. Like, I just don't understand why anyone will want a dry under eye. Like that is just not my fantasy. Now we're gonna set her with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I love how everything is her. In Sugar's world, everyone's a she. <laughs> but I call everything she. It's like my vanity, my bed. Oh, she, you know, it's never him. So this is the shade Light. Ooh, ASMR. I also have the medium shade, which I'm gonna be setting the rest of my face with. All right, let's give her a whirl. Mm -mm. Before I set the rest of my face, let's go in with the Lock On Liner and Brow Cream. I got the shade Light Brown. I'm excited to try her out because I love the ABH Dip Brow and also a few others, but they get like pretty pricey, like almost $30 for a Dip Brow. Like, no thank you. So let's see if this is a good dupe. Ooh, it's very creamy, which is always a good sign. You do not want a dry brow cream. No, me am. Look at all the products. I need to uh, clean this off. This is very smooth. Hold. I've been sleeping on Elf. Oh my God. Like I knew it was good, but I don't know. I thought, you know, maybe these influencers were just lying to us. But wow. Okay, this could be a game changing product for me. Because for me, I feel like I can work with any product. It's kind of similar how to, I feel like I could talk to anyone. It's just, you know, some makeup products are like when you talk to people and it's like pulling teeth. And I don't want to do that much work with the makeup. I don't want to do that much work with trying to talk to someone. So, you know, when you find a good vibrational match to what you want makeup wise, then, you know, life is pretty nice or pretty sweet. Okay, this is everything. I'm obsessed, I'm obsessed. Now the moment of truth for the hydrating camo concealer is seeing if it can cover up my brow. Now normally only the Tarte Shape Tape is full enough coverage to do this, so let's see. One sweat, bam. Oh my God, yes! This is making me so happy that a drugstore concealer is giving this much coverage and it's only $7, what? See, I love when y'all give me makeup recommendations because if I'm gonna trust anyone, it's gonna be you over all of these beauty gurus. Setting the rest of the face with the Halo Glow setting powder. So far, I'm blown away. I'm most curious about the eyeshadows and liners because, you know, I have my staples that I really like and, you know, Miss Sugar, she's an opinionated girly. The shadiness comes out when I review makeup, so I have high standards. And right now, I'm blown away. It's making me so happy that there's affordable options in the drugstore because that means young drag me me would have been able to get all this stuff. Because as much as I love a good high-end product, the price tags, you know, they don't lie and it adds up. Next up to bat is the Putty Bronzer. Now this is a cream to powder formula. You could do it before you set your face, but I figured let's just put her on after we set. I know that's against the rules to some people, but you know, makeup is versatile. We can do whatever we want. So let's just dive right in. Let's bronze. Ooh, I like the color. Y'all know me, I'm not much of a bronzer girl these days. I go in heavier on the blush. So let's just do a little bit, a little sun-kissed moment. I haven't really seen people talk about this putty bronzer, so I wasn't really sure what to expect, but this is beautiful. I love how it sets to a powder, so I don't even need to put anything on top of it, love. This is the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in shade Pinky Promise. I'm just such a sucker for this shade. So let's start small, we'll do a few dots. I saw Michaela use this and it was very full coverage. So I'm gonna start light. We're gonna blend her out with a damp sponge. I've actually never used a liquid blush before. And I know I had the option of doing this before I set my face, 
but you can apply liquids over powders. So get into it. Oh, wow. Hmm. I love the color. It's just, it's not really blending out. Okay. Yeah. No, it's great. Let's try the other side. Because it looks so dark, right, when you put it on, but it does blend out to a lighter hue, which is good. Oh, wow. I think these are a dupe for the rare beauty blushes, if I'm correct. Okay, so you, you just have to keep blending. It could be scary, right? When you put it on, you're like, oh my God, is it stuck there? I am gonna apply a little bit more to see if we can build her up. Let me know if you've used any of these e.l.f. products below. I need all the tea. I feel like I trust you guys the most, you know? <laughs> Y'all wouldn't lie to me in Sugar's World, no me am. I will say it's not that easy to blend out. And that might just be because I am putting it over powdered down foundation. It might be better on um, bare skin, so I'll definitely have to try her that way, but I'm not mad. It's just, you know, I'm getting used to this method of application. Next up, we have the Powder Blush Palette in the shade Light. Again, I've never seen anyone talk about this, so let's get into what she's giving. For contour, I'm kind of just gonna go into both of these more tan shades and dust her on. Okay, oh. Okay, yeah, it's a little dark, uh, okay. I don't know if this shade is what I'm used to. No, it's good, it's <laughs> the process of being like, what? Okay, trust the process, sugar. Now I'm gonna go into the more pinky shades. It looks like there's a bit of a shimmer, which I love. And let's set over that blush. You know what, now that I'm looking at the camo blush more, I really do like it. It's just, I don't have my eyes on, so it feels like a lot. See, normally, yeah, that's what it is, because normally I apply blush at the end. Okay. Yeah, that's pretty to set with. This is good. I just love drugstore products being good, because I always have the nightmare that I'm going to get to a gig, or get to an event, and my makeup bag is going to go missing, and then I'm going to have the movie moment of going down to CVS or an Ulta and being like, well, I just have to buy all my new makeup here. The blush is definitely one. It's like when you see a TikTok video of a singer slaying down the vocals, and then you go to the comments, and everyone's like, the mic was one. The blush is one <laughs> with this. Going back in with that setting powder, and we are snatching up the nose and highlighting that inner corner again. Oh, see, this is really tying in the blush here, which I love. It's giving the Patrick Ta method. I always call it that because I just always associate Patrick Ta with doing this on Alex Earl. So it's very much the celebrity look at the moment to be having the white on the inner corner, blending out to the pink. I do need to try a pink setting powder. Let me know your faves down below because that's my next, that's my next step in my makeup beauty guru evolution, <laughs> using a pink setting powder. For eyes, I actually found this No Budge Cream Eyeshadow in white, and I want to put her to the test and kind of see what's going on with this. I'm curious if it's more liquidy or if it's more dry, and I think that's going to be the deciding factor if I use this again or not. Okay, so it looks like a little pomade tube, right? Let's dig in and go to town. So it is an eyeshadow. Oh yes, okay, pretty creamy. I was nervous about this. Do a little baby lid. I'm gonna go pretty neutral on the eye today and simple because, you know, e.l.f. I don't really think is known for the shadows. So I wanna set myself up for success. The fun thing about trying out e.l.f. products is you don't really think of this brand as drag queen friendly or full glam friendly. And to my surprise, it is so far. But, you know, we haven't done the eye work yet, so let's see. Okay, so I'm running into a little bit of an issue trying to blend it out. It's a little stiff. I wish it was a tiny bit creamier, but it's definitely doable. I'm most curious about the shadows. I got the Perfect 10 Nude Mood Palette. This was the most neutral one, and, you know, I wanted to get something I knew I was actually going to use. So we have a pretty good shade range. Let's see if it's a dupe for the Makeup by Mario <laughs> nude palette. I mean, I haven't tried that yet, so I don't know. To set my lid, let's go in with this lighter shade. You definitely want to set this cream shadow because it is cream after all. I mean, it says it in the name. And cream on an eyelid not set, that is a nightmare. I do wish there was a white eyeshadow and a black. Well, I guess there is, but it's kind of like more charcoaly gray. I just feel like every 
palette needs that because white and black, I mean, it's not even the color, it's just adding value, you know? For a transition shade, I'm gonna go in with this middle, more mauve -y tone. Oh. <laughs> I'm like, where's the coverage? Okay, let's build her up. Oh, there she is. Okay, I got nervous for a second. Yeah, see, I'm just gonna really pack on the shadow and then blend. Okay, okay, there she is. Ooh, that was a close call, baby. <laughs> Imagine I applied it and it just like was the worst shadow ever. Oh my God. No, this is looking good. I'm gagged right now. That blended out seamlessly. Let's go in with this darker brown shade to smoke out this lash line. The moment of truth, yes. Oh my, why is no one talking about elf eyeshadows? I feel like these should be viral on TikTok right now. Or you know, maybe sugar is gonna make them viral. <laughs> I can't even lie, like you guys are seeing how flawlessly this is blending out so quick. I'm not cutting these takes, so whoa. Halt. Miss Elf and her eyeshadows, okay. Now we're gonna test out the Precision Liquid eyeliner. Elf has a few different eyeliners, but I'm most curious for her. I'm only going to do a baby wing. Normally I would do something more dramatic, but we're going for more of the soft girl look today. <laughs> Y'all know me. I have my two different modes of full, full glam and then natural girl glam. Normally I do my eyeliner more angled up, but I guess we're going more straight out today, which is fine. Honestly, this is meant to be. I've always wondered what this would look like on me if I don't bring it so up and more just straight out. This is gliding on very smooth. Okay. Can she get it even? Oh, wow. This is very creamy and liquidy, which I need in an eyeliner. There's nothing worse than a dried out liquid eyeliner. Moment of truth. Let's see if it can do inner corner liner. Come on, Elf. I believe in you. Oh, wow. This is great. It has a very fine tip which is making this very easy to do. Okay, now we're going in with the darker charcoal shade in the palette to blend out and smoke out this liner. So far, the shadows haven't disappointed. Imagine the shadow just completely bombs. I had to take back everything I said. But also, you know, with palettes, some shades are gonna be good and some aren't. So that's why you gotta try it all. I love doing these unsugarcoated reviews because I feel like I can really help you when it comes to determining what makeup you should buy next. Because let's face it, being beautiful, it, it's a full-time job to just keep up with everything. It's a full-time job being hot. So I feel like if I can help y'all and be like, no, don't get this, get this, then I feel like I'm of service and it's helping me perform my life task of helping people feel beautiful inside and out. Because trust me, I have been through a journey when it comes to my self image and personally just feeling beautiful in drag, out of drag. So by doing these videos, I really feel like, you know, I can make the burden of having to look presentable less, if that makes sense, because it can be stressful. I feel like on the other side of mastering your physical appearance and feeling good about how you look, is your unlimited, untapped in potential. Because when you look good, you feel good, and then you can take on the world. I mean, let me know down below, but I've never felt like I could take on the world when I don't feel good about my appearance. It really is all interconnected. Now for lashes, I'm going in with the Lash and Roll Mascara. This claims to curl up your lashes, which, ooh, as I poke my eye out, which I need because my natural lashes grow straight down like a little puppy dog, which is cute as a guy, but you know, we need to have these babies up and rolled. I've never tried her before. I feel like mascara, it's like you can't really mess that up. Like if you're a beauty brand and your mascara is bad, then baby girl, just, just cancel the whole thing. Throw it all away. Now this formula promises to be curling and lifting, which I need so desperately. One of these days I'm gonna find a mascara that I don't need to curl the lashes with. So let's see what she's giving. I love the packaging, pink and black. You cannot go wrong, it's very sleek. Ooh, okay, so the wand is curled She's giving standard mascara wands. Let's just give her a whirl. Okay, ooh. You know what, right off the bat, I like how the wand is smaller. And I know that's probably something weird to notice, but it makes it, ooh, it's so easy to get right up into those lashes. 
Wait, why is this like the easiest applicator I've ever used? Oh, and what's gagging me is when you take it out, it's not clumping with a lot of products, which is a really good sign. I feel like it's impossible not to make the ugly mascara faces with the mouth wide open. I don't really care much about length because I apply a falsy, of course. I mean, I am a man after all. <laughs> as much as I want to be like, okay, just apply my little mascara. I'm ready to go to Trader Joe's. It's like, no, girl, we need more. We need more trust. Well, let's apply to the bottom. I feel like that's always easier to see. Ooh, <gasps> okay, very black, and it's separating them very nicely. Now, hold on, hold on, Miss Elf. Recently, I've been living for the Too Faced Naturally Better Than Sex, but she might beat her out because it's giving you drama, but it's also separating them, which I love because I hate a really clumpy bottom lash. You know, unless that's the look you're going for. Lashes are on. Now we're gonna set with the Coconut Dewy Setting Mist. I love a good dewy mist. So let's just go to town. Actually, wait first. We're gonna do some highlighter. I just, I can't not do highlighter. Unfortunately, I couldn't find a highlighter from Elf. Did I miss it? Let me know down below. But if Elf really doesn't have a highlighter, Elf, you need to get on that. Like, where's the highlighter? Like, we need to be glowing. So let's just go on my tried and true, the Wet n Wild Maryland. Y'all know I'm like obsessed. We're gonna set with the dewy mist. I probably would. Oh, I probably want to do a dewy setting mist if I was going on stage or if I had an event that I was gonna be at for hours. Because you know, if it, if you're too dewy, then it kind of just ruins all of the illusion work you just did. But I'm just sitting in my room today, so. Oh, oh my God. Okay, let's always spray, not on your face first. Okay, the mist, okay, yeah, no, it's a fine mist, which is good. You never want to just squirt out like a damn water gun. Ooh, tastes like coconut. Living, I love the smell. And I've been needing a new dewy mist, so. This is gonna bring back that halo glow and really blend all the power. I'm like, uh, like a whip no uh, limp noodle. Okay, whoa, the skin looks like butter, baby. Okay, so we got the dress on, the wig on, the nails on, they match my dress. I love just wearing these like fun little simple outfits, can y'all see? I'm not like corseted, but you know, whatever, I'm not padded either. It's giving baby drag. But no, I mean, I'm in my beauty influencer sugar mode, so of course she needs her, you know, her cute little outfits. And you know, I would probably be against presenting in a simple look like this back in the day, but it's like, no, I already established myself. Y'all know Miss Sugar is a fashion queen, so I can wear simple little looks because this is about the makeup after all. And I feel like I wouldn't really be able to be producing as much content as I have been if I've been focusing on the fashion when this is a beauty channel after all. I don't need to explain myself. I know y'all watching me understand me and get me. It's just, I don't know. I feel like I have to be defensive for all the people I guess I've been exposed to that don't feel me. So they're quick to like come and like say all this stuff. It's like, no, I'm just a person existing, having fun with my people in Sugar's world. So. I shouldn't be focusing on negativity and I don't need to be giving disclaimers, but you know, it's just, it's the voices in our head, right? So y'all should learn a lesson from me that we shouldn't be, you know, speaking negatively about our, I'm not speaking negative. I don't let you review the makeup. So for lips, we have the Elf Pout Clout Pens. I've seen these go viral so many times. There was an influencer, what is her name? I don't know, she's so boring, I can't even remember. But she's always going viral about something and they were yelling at her because apparently the lips were too sticky with this. I mean, I don't trust anyone's review until Miss Sugar has tested it for herself. So let's get into what they're giving. Just to make the review fair, I am gonna be going in with my tried and true MAC Boldly Bear lip liner just to see how the product applies. I don't think Elf has a lip liner. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I couldn't find any. Okay, just apply some lip liner, thank God, because I am a man after all. I know these girls are just swiping on shades without any lip liner. I'm like, oh, girl, hold on, I gotta craft a new lip first. <laughs> I'm going with the shade Just peachy. Now this claims to be a three-in-one lip plumper, gloss, and balm. So let's see what she's giving. Okay, let's do like two clip one, two, we'll do three for good measure. Okay, well now we gotta click it up until the product gets out. One swipe. Ooh, two more clicks. 
<laughs> Let's get into the meals. Okay. Ooh. This is perfect for me because my lips are always drier than the damn Sahara Desert, drier than my damn DMs. I love how moisturizing it is. I want to apply more. I'm a lip gloss girl. I don't care. I know everyone's into the clean girl aesthetic, but it's like, no, let's let's apply makeup because we like makeup because it's fun. You know, a lot of girlies are like, oh no, well, men don't like makeup and I need to be appealing to the opposite sex. Girl, they don't care about you. So apply the makeup, okay? Girl, they just want you for one reason and one reason only. So apply the makeup and be cunty. It claims to be plumping. I don't know if that's the effect, but I love, I love this shade. Ooh, she's giving woman. <laughs> now let's apply the next shade, Pinky Out. Love that. On site. Well, two, I guess. Bottom. Ooh. Okay, I think I like the other one better. So we're gonna wrap it up like a piece of candy. Did we show? Now let me call Andy. <laughs> I can't with the wraps. My favorites are definitely the Halo Glow. We will be using her again. And also the Camo uh, CC Cream. Yes, I was gonna say Camouflage Concealer. The Camo CC Cream. These are amazing. I'm so happy I have a drugstore foundation moment. Honestly, I think the face products are the best that e.l.f. has to offer right now. Power Grip Primer, yes ma'am. Also, the skincare, the night cream. I'm gonna be using her for my skincare. I needed a new cream, so love. I'm really impressed with the brow pomade. Gonna always be using her now, it's so creamy. The Coconut Dewy Setting Mist, love, love, love. Now I need to get close to the camera for this. The Hydrating Camo Concealer blew me away. She is the standout of today's Unsugar Coated. We love her. I'm gonna, I'm always gonna be getting her now, love. The other two standouts are definitely the liner and also the pout clout pens. I can barely even say it. I love how they apply. I don't know what those other influencers are talking about saying it's too sticky. They're sugar proof, so you can trust me. <laughs> now the products I wasn't too crazy about, it's not that they're bad, I just wouldn't repurchase, is the No Budge Cream Eyeshadow. I feel like it just seems to be a little bit juicier, a little bit juicier. Also the Putty Bronzer. It was okay, but I prefer a powder bronzer. This was cream to powder, so I don't know. Also, the Halo Glow setting powders, they're great and they got the job done, but they're not my ultimate holy grail fave. But if you're looking for a new powder, definitely try them out. And the last product that didn't really gag me was uh, the powder blush. But I'm just waiting for e.l.f. to release a sickening powder bronzer and a sickening blush and I feel like it will take the world by storm. Okay, well that's it for today's episode of Unsugarcoated. Let me know any other brands or products you want me to try. I'm gonna go shave my grandma's back and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!